In today's video, I'm going to try the most popular Italian restaurant in all of Japan, Saizeria. I've heard nothing but good things from everyone I've spoken to, and every time I pass one, there seems to be a line out the door. In fact, it's so popular, I came right at 11am when it opened on a Monday and still had to wait in line. Although it's an Italian restaurant, the service is very much Japanese, so once you're directed to a table, the need for human interaction ends there. Everything is ordered through an app on your phone, which you scan a QR code to use. Each menu item has a code which you copy into the app to order. Pretty straightforward. The menu is pretty large and contains the usual Italian classics. Minestrone soup, garlic bread, corn pizza, dorias which are baked rice dishes covered in cheese, sauce, and other toppings, gratins, spaghetti with seaweed, shrimp, and codro sauce, as well as some sizzling meat plates. Nearly everything on the menu is in the 200 to 500 yen range, except for the wine which costs 100 yen per glass. Extra virgin olive oil, hot sauce, salt and pepper are all self-serve, as are beverages, with unlimited access to the drink bar costing 200 yen. But with glasses of wine for less than a dollar, I don't see why you'd order anything else. I decided to start my meal with Italy's most famous soup, French onion. I figured outside of France the next best place to try this is an Italian restaurant in Japan, so I had pretty high hopes for this one. And honestly this was really good, especially considering the price of 300 yen. It had sweetness from caramelized onions, richness from butter, and body from beef stock. The flavoring and seasonings were surprisingly good. I decided to pair it with my 90 cent glass of red wine, which was also surprisingly good. This may not have been Gruyere, but the toasted mozzarella was more than acceptable. Honestly, I wasn't expecting much, and for the price, I don't really see how it could be better. Less than $4 for a delicious French onion soup and glass of wine. I'm giving this course a 9 out of 10. It would have been a 9.5, but they forgot the parsley on my soup. While finishing up the soup, I ordered a spaghetti and tomato sauce with pancetta. And unlike my initial sarcastic ones, I genuinely had high hopes for the pasta at this point. And this time it even looked better than expected. Wow, not only was the pasta cooked al dente, but the sauce wasn't overly sweet like it typically is in Asia. This was genuinely good spaghetti and tomato sauce. I will say the pancetta was closer to ham, but overall this was fantastic. It was also a very large portion, easily about a pound. It was so good I forgot all about my wine pairing, which at this point was as expected, also very good. Not sour, hot, or astringent. In fact, both the red and white tasted as good as any 12 to $15 bottle in Canada. I wanted to try some other things, but the portion sizes were definitely on the large size. Much larger than the standard Japanese size portions you get elsewhere. I'm going to give the pasta a 9.5. I was incredibly surprised by the perfectly cooked al dente pasta, and on top of that, I would even call the tomato sauce authentic. It was only 900 yen for two glasses of wine, soup, and pasta. That was a fantastic price for the quality of meal I just had. Also, I've heard a lot of people who come to Japan say things like, Wow, everyone in Japan is so skinny. Well, let me tell you, I've found the rest of that demographic. They are heavily concentrated in Caesarea. For about 8 Canadian dollars, that was an incredible meal. Any expectations I had going in were greatly exceeded. I'm not going to say you need to try Saizeria if you come to Japan, but if you're on an extended trip and need to make a food video, then I 100% recommend it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. Thanks for watching.